a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below or above on the easy to use widget. Let's get right into it. As the Flyers, after having another 10 game losing streak, having one of the worst seasons in franchise history, the problem is uh, the league, amongst the league right now, there's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up from being the worst team. So they're not even going to have one of the best draft picks right now if it were to be called right now because. This team has made it, other than I believe it's eight times in franchise history. I'm into the postseason, so their percentage of making the postseason in the franchise history is ridiculous. But it hasn't been as squeaky clean of late. We had the 1920 season that looked great. Unfortunately, it got stopped with COVID. Last year was terrible, and this year has been worse. So, hopefully, with the fact that the Flyers are playing the Buffalo Sabres, who were a team that actually have one less win than them, 12, 21, and 7 to 13, 9, and 8. Maybe that can give fans a good game on a Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock in the afternoon between the Philadelphia Flyers and Sabres. The only thing is the Sabres, while being a crap team this year, have been in certain aspects a more competitive bad team uh, than the Flyers that um, from when I've watched them this year where they play more close games, actually battle more on each end of the puck and uh, all that aspects of the game and so on and so forth, um, where the Flyers, we've kind of just seen them get defeated early in games against no matter who the opponent is all too many times this year, and that's been a big issue with this team. But for the lines, it's going to be Oscar from left wing to right wing on each line. It's going to be Oscar Lindblom. Uh, Claude Giroux says he has a it says wrist thing here, but he's still in right now, so we have to monitor that. But Giroux, Atkinson, Van Riemsdyk, Lawton, Konechny, Cates, Frost, Mayhew, Wilman McEwen at center, and then Wade Allison on the fourth line, which makes sense to me. Do I think Wade Allison skill-wise should be higher than Jerry Mayhew and maybe even um, a Jackson Cates on the forward court? Yeah, but the thing with him is he admitted with the Phantoms, I thought about it in my ghostly take, if you want to go back and check those out, my Phantoms pocket, that he was still hurting coming back from injuries and so forth, so I think it's wise to wor- let him work his way back. Defense is Provorov, Braun, York, Sanheim. Yondo and Ristolainen, and then it looks like Marty Jones. I'm looking at this since it has him on top. Uh, no, actually, according to the projections here, though, it has it as Carter Hart on the um, projection lines on NHL.com. But on Cap Friendly, it's making it look like it could be Marty Jones. But uh, either way... Um, no matter what goal he starts for the Flyers, the issue for the Flyers has not really been goaltending for the most part. It's been play in front, whether it's just defensive blunders. So the key for this game is, one, the thing I mentioned earlier. You can't get defeated early. You have to have a more perseverance attitude of resilience. That's been the means of their double A affiliate, the Reading Royals, all season to get in the first place. And perseverance and fight and battle back has been the the mantras of the Phantoms this year to now actually be in a playoff spot where the Flyers have been the worst team in the in the organization um, this year. So you can't have that down and out feel early in a game if you do get to a losing aspect. The other aspect to be able to beat one of the worst teams, again, as the Flyers are also one of the worst teams in the bottom seven, but to beat another team that's struggling, is you have to stop having those lousy, just stupid, that make no sense. It's like I said in the other video, it's almost like throwing in the double or triple coverage. You have to stop having those turnovers that you're setting your guy up for failure, like uh, Provorov did to Scott Lawton the other day. You can't have those turnovers. That's never going to lead to success, and it's never going to lead to success for the goaltender. And then Line A, you're trying to get it out of the zone, and then it goes right to Patrick Line A, and he's able to pot a goal. So you need to be able to play to the wiser and play a more disciplined game uh, as well. And obviously the other thing is defense as a whole. York's been good since coming up. Um, Sanheim... The, the problem with Sanheim is he makes so much, he not so many, but he makes the big boneheaded mistakes that stand out. But overall, I think within his game, he actually has played fine this year. It's just he has those big standout mistakes where Provorov, I think, has played significantly worse than Sanheim this year. This has been his worst season in the league. Um, Rista Linen, he's been up and down. He's been fine. But being on a line with Yandel at this point of, the, of his career, that also kind of limits you where we're just keeping him in for the Ironman streak at this point, I do honestly. I believe. But the key for the Flyers to finally win one in this game is discipline. 
finding a way, any way, in shape or form to exit your zone, get the puck up the ice to be able to draw to your offense, and just getting the puck on net, like Jerry Mayhew finally, I mean, the Flyers issue in the Columbus game wasn't necessarily shots, they had 34 on net, and Merzlin has played really well, but j- j- just throw shots on net when you see traffic in front, Mayhew was able to get it from the high slot, throw a good shot on net, and score, that's what he's done his entire minor league career, he's been an MVP down there, so if you're able to just continue to try to get shots on net, hopefully you don't run into a hot as a firecracker goaltender. Obviously, there's a higher percentage chance of that happening against CBJ because they have Merz Lincolns, where um, the Buffalo Sabres either have Aaron Dell or um, in this game, it looks like Michael Hauser, who's been more of a uh, minor league goalie in his career. But in the one game he's played this year, he played really well last season. Um, I remember when he came up, he struggled a pretty big, big time when he came up and had to come up for them. But this year in his one game, he has played well. So I have to see what Hauser, uh, the Flyers get, if it's this season one game version or last season's four game version, which was not as tight. But when it comes to the Buffalo Sabres to wrap up this video, the lines we will be facing today uh, for the Buffalo Sabres, they have Jeff Skinner, Tage Thompson, Victor Olofsson, Peyton Krebs, Dylan Cousins, Alex Tuck, Brett Murray, a pretty nice, uh, big uh, player that has a good net front presence, obviously not an awful player to get if the, if they're a player, if they're, if they're a team, excuse me, that would trade for uh, JVR and take his uh, contract as a rebuilding team. Um, Mark Jankowski, Rasmus Asplin, Anders Bjork, Cody Eakin, and John Hayden, Rasmus Dahlin, Henry Okiharu is the first defensive line, Matthias Samuelson, Mark Pissick, former flyer Robert Hag, who's actually having a well, it's minus is a hard weighing category. Overall, he's actually having a pretty good season with the guys he's been playing for for Buffalo and following Buffalo's uh, spear on score and uh, athletic to pay attention to how <clears throat> certain guys do with other teams. He has been a defenseman that they've usually talked about more positive than negative this year, so he's been having a good season for them. And then it looks like Michael Hauser will tend the twine um today, so we'll have to see what, what addition of Michael Hauser uh, is going to be coming up against the Flyers. He's been a good minor league goalie his entire career. Struggled last year in the NHL, but looked like he's getting it going this year and good for the 29-year-old Hauser. Hopefully he doesn't have the most keen success against our Flyers and they can get back on the win column today, but I ain't predicting that for sure with the way this team has been playing. So please continue to subscribe down below or above on the easy-to-use widget. Have a great day and pleasant day, everybody, and go Flyers. Maybe they can get back in the win column today.